So let's talk about screen sharing. So screen sharing is a feature of Zoom that allows you to show what you see on your screen to all the other meet meeting participants. It allows everyone to see everything that you are doing on your own device. And this is how we have shown you the webinar slides in uh, past webinars and how we conduct the live demonstrations. So why might you want to screen share? So screen sharing is a very handy way of being able to show a visual, a visual as you explain something. With this feature, you can share videos, websites, photos, and more. Anything on your screen, you're able to show it to others. There's also a whiteboard feature on your screen share that allows you to write things on a, on a virtual whiteboard for everyone in the meeting to see. So um, I'm going to show share my screen and show you what it looks like when a person is sharing their screen. But before I do, I want you all to um, locate your share screen buttons. So on your Zoom, on your Zoom screen, I want you to look for a green button that says share screen. So sometimes our menu bar doesn't appear and you might need to tap your screen if you're on a touchscreen device such as an iPad or move your mouse and it will appear. So I want you to guys give that a try and try and get your control bar to appear and look for a green button that says share screen. Now this button will be alongside all the other buttons on the bottom of your screen, such as the start video button or the mute button. So as I mentioned, third time, green button that says share screen. Now I'm gonna go ahead and share my video and show you what it'll look like. I mean, share my screen and show you what it'll look like. So now you can see what it's like when someone's sharing their screen, you can see everything I see on my screen. So if you couldn't locate it before, this green button where my mouse is at the bottom of the screen, that is the share screen button. So to share your screen, what you would do is you would click on the green button and a bunch of options would pop up. So the options we see here are screen, whiteboard, iPhone and iPad, and these two are specific tabs on my browser. So the, the go-to option most people choose is screen, or in some other cases, it might be called desktop. So screen or desktop takes your, um, captures your entire screen. So one thing to keep in mind is there's usually a green outline that shows what section of your screen you're screen sharing, which I will show later when I move on to a different tab, you will be able to see it. And now whiteboard, I've mentioned earlier, it allows you to draw on the on the screen. So it'd be a it'd be a whiteboard, but a digital whiteboard. An iPhone and iPad lets you connect your device to share what you can see on your device. So when you share your iPhone and iPad, you will what usually happens is you'll need to have an Apple device or an Apple a laptop and you can do something called AirPlay where it lets you to mirror your phone screen on your laptop. One thing to keep in mind if you don't have an Apple laptop, you can download Zoom on your phone and screen and join the meeting twice, once on your laptop and once on your phone and share your screen on your phone through that Zoom. The other two options here are different tabs. So when you click on screen, it shows your entire screen. So it can see when you switch pages. But when you click this, you only see one web page that you've opened. So first I'm gonna go through screen and then I'll come back and go through the other two. So right now I'm choosing to share my screen. So now I'm gonna go to a web page. So this is what it'd look like when you're sharing a screen. The participants of the Zoom can see my entire screen and I have these meeting controls. Normally, when you're sharing on Zoom, these meeting controls at the top, this black bar that my mouse is on top of, is not visible to the participants. I've selected a specific setting to make sure that these are visible to you. So a couple options that you have when you're sharing your screen is pause share. So pause share is handy because suppose you're sharing a screen and you want to go open up something else, but you don't want the participants to see what it takes to get you there. That's a bit confusing, but I'll, I'll give an example. So I'm going to click pause share. And now 
your screen stays on my the page that was open, the Cyber Seniors website, but I can go on to different tabs and the participants don't are not allowed to see what I'm doing. And then you click the same button again to resume the share. I paused my share and took you to a new website so you couldn't see what it took for me to get to this new website. When you're in a meeting as a participant, the chats usually come up on the side of the screen, but when you're presenting, the chat will be at the top where the more button is. As you can see, there are 11 messages on the chat and to look at the chat, you would just click on it. So you'll notice that the bar at the top disappears and reappears when my mouse is not on it. So that's handy because as you'll notice that blocks up a large part of the screen. Another capability that you have is you can hide the floating meeting controls. So by clicking on that, nothing is visible on top. But keep in mind, if you do that, you need to remember how to make the meeting controls available again. And you can do that by clicking the escape button on your keyboard, which is at the top left corner. And now it'll appear again. Now to stop your share, you'll notice there's a red button here. So all you'd have to do to stop sharing is click on it and it will take me right back to the Zoom and I can see everyone's faces again. And now I'll take us through sharing screen on the whiteboard. So to share on the whiteboard, you do the same thing. You'd click the green button does, that says share screen and then you would click on whiteboard and you would click share. So now I have a whiteboard. So for example, one capability I can think of as useful for this is for example, teachers. If I wanted to teach my class something, I would just write on the whiteboard, which is a fun capability. And the whiteboard has, has the ability to type as well. So all these options are available. So draw, I draw, I did when I wrote two plus two equals four. Stamps are stamps that you can make. So for example, I stamped an arrow right here. I wanted to point to my hello. And I can erase what I've written. And if you just want to undo, you can click undo. So I didn't mean to erase that. So I can click undo to make it appear again and redo to erase it again. And if you've written a lot on the whiteboard, all you can do is just click clear all drawings. And if you want to save what you've written on your whiteboard, there's a save button that will save the image to your uh, device. This one seems to make my cursor have a red dot. And this one would be used to, to point. Oh, so perfect. So if I wanted to show that I wrote what I did, I could put real virus. Those are things that can take some experimentation because I haven't used whiteboard too much in my experience, but there are things you learn more as you keep going. And now to stop the whiteboard, I'm just gonna click the X. What I wanted to talk about next is sharing specific, specific uh, tabs, pages. So for example, these two I didn't fully explain. So sharing, clicking on this, sharing this tab means that the participants can only see this window page. So for example, I'm gonna share it. And now I feel like this has a similar effect to pausing your, pausing your share screen because I can leave this screen and the participants wouldn't be aware. So for example, I'm on a different screen right now, but you guys can't see that because I've um, only shared my, I've only shared that section of my screen. So I'm gonna stop sharing again. One thing I forgot to go through is these two buttons right here. For example, share sound is a very important button because I forget to click it all the time. If you wanna share a video to your, um, 
to the Zoom participants, you want to make sure you click on share sound, otherwise nothing will be audible. So for example, For example, you can't hear this because I haven't clicked the proper settings. I would need to stop sharing. I click share sound when I choose to share the video. Now, when I play the video again, you will be able to hear the audio. Ding a ling goes a telephone and I know that the fireworks will start. Could be so that's something to keep in mind because I've made that mistake numerous times before. Just to add on to that, <clears throat> for the share sound, um, that's assuming that you're wearing headphones. So if you are not wearing headphones, so the majority of you are not wearing headphones, if you did play something on your computer, we would all hear it. Um, but since Ria is wearing headphones, um, only Ria can hear her audio unless, unless Ria clicks the um, share sound button. So sharing your screen is only a capability for the host or co-host of the meeting. So for example, none of you would be able to share your screen in this meeting because um, you're not co-hosts or hosts. So you would need to be given the capabilities by the host to share your screen. So to share your screen, you would either have to create the meeting yourself or be given the capability by the host of the meeting. And also for sharing a screen, in the breakout rooms, everyone is able to share their screen. But in the main session, only the host and the co-host can share their screen, as Ria mentioned. Now I'm going to go through some more buttons here. So for example, advanced. So if you want to share a portion of your screen, so Right now, you can only see the screen, the section of my screen that I want you to. Unfortunately, Zoom doesn't allow me to show you the controls on this, but I can move the section of the screen that I'm sharing around. So as you've seen, so contact from the second camera, music or computer sound only, portion of screen and PowerPoint as a virtual background. So I haven't used any of these before, so I'm not too sure what they would be like, but they are the options given. And if you wanted to share a PowerPoint, I'll, you could also just share your screen and um, have the PowerPoint opened up ready to go be beforehand. While bringing that up, it's important to mention when you're, when you're sharing your screen, you wanna make sure you're um, aware of what you have open and what you have closed because it because as the participants can see your entire screen so they might see things you don't want them to so you want to make sure that you have the appropriate tabs opened and whatever you don't want visible closed <laughs> 